So it seems there are an unusually high amount of reports from Fire Stick customers who are saying that their Fire Sticks on boot up are getting stuck on the Amazon logo screen or the Fire TV logo screen. Reports started coming in around about early June 2023, where many customers were all reporting the same issue at the same time. Now, Fire TV sticks bricking like this isn't something unusual, but what is unusual is, like I say, the high amount of people all in a short space of time reporting this particular problem. Amazon have said that they are looking into this and there's going to be more on this video. So if you're watching this video as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, I'll be back very shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, around about early June 2023, lots of people started reporting that upon turning their fire sticks on, they were getting stuck on the fire TV logo screen. And no matter what they did, it just didn't seem to clear the problem. Amazon would come back with their general stocks response, basically saying, leave the device switched on at the stuck screen for at least 25 minutes. If that didn't work, then press and hold the back and right hand side of the navigation circle together for 10 seconds. And then after 10 seconds, it should come up with a message saying, do you want to reset the device? It should then reset, but many people found simply holding these buttons done absolutely nothing. No message came up at all. They also suggested powering off the device and leaving it off for at least 12 hours. But again, this made no difference. A bit of a useless tip here, I believe. Try another HDMI port on your TV. Well, if it's not booting up in one HDMI port, then I can't see it booting up in another. A good point though was make sure you're using the original Amazon Power adapter, because if you're using a non-standard adapter or you're using your TV's USB sockets to power your Fire Stick device, then these do not give enough ampage or allow for enough ampage to be drawn and therefore can cause problems at times. Again, another pretty useless tip was do not use any HDMI extenders. Well, if it was the HDMI extender that was causing the problem, then you'd probably wouldn't get a picture at all or you'd certainly get interference on the screen. Certainly wouldn't be stuck at the Amazon or Fire TV logo. And finally, they said, try the stick in a different TV. Well, again, if it's stuck on the Amazon logo, it's not going to work on any TV, I wouldn't have thought. Although thinking about it, if you've got a TV that's closer to your Wi-Fi router, then it might be worth sticking it in that, leaving it for 25 minutes because because it's possible that a TV that's closer to your router has got a stronger Wi-Fi signal. And therefore, if they are trying to push through an update, you've got a better chance of getting the update through on a TV that's closer to the Wi-Fi router. Anyway, come early July, Amazon did actually finally admit that they were aware of an issue and that their technical team were working to get the issue resolved. Amazon did finally say on the 12th of August, our technical team has confirmed the issue is resolved. Let us know if you're facing any issues or need further help. Further to this, they said our technical team rolled out an update to fix the issue on your device. Let the device sit for 25 minutes turned on to receive the update. But unfortunately, I'm not seeing any reports to say that this fixes the device. I mean, obviously, if you are suffering from this problem, then what I would say is plug the device into a TV that's very close to your Wi-Fi access point or router. Let it sit for at least 25 minutes and just see whether anything happens. I don't think they can actually get an update to the device because of where it's actually crashing. It's crashing at a point where even before the system is loading. So I don't know how they're going to get an update through when the device quite clearly hasn't fully loaded and probably hasn't connected to the Wi-Fi. So after a huge amount of customers stating that they've tried this, it hasn't worked, Amazon have come back and said, our technical team are now again investigating this issue. Myself, 
or other Amazon staff or another moderator will update you here once there isn't any new information made available on this issue. Well, so far, no announcement has been made. This video is being recorded on the 17th of August, 2023. Now, many customers have been disappointed and frustrated over this, especially customers that have not had their devices working for the past two months. Some customers have said they're going to cancel their Amazon Prime subscription. Well, there's no point in having it really, is there, if they can't use the uh, the Amazon Prime video service or the Amazon Music service on the stick. Others have shown their anger. Amazon have been offering discounts on new devices. But as one person says here, it says, I've seen there are now 25 to 30 percent discounts on new units but I did not break this device and do not feel it is at my cost to replace it. Very disappointed. Another person said, I'm having the same issue. Cannot believe how bad this service is from Amazon. I think it should put out more public how bad they are and maybe they will actually fix the issue or at least offer those affected a replacement stick. One person has reported that they have received a credit on their account or a gift card on their account to cover 100% the cost of a replacement stick. On the 12th of August, this person wrote, I can personally confirm that Amazon released an update to Fire Sticks, turning mine and others into bricks, i.e. you cannot do a factory reset. To help, I'm a software tester and after 20 minutes was able to tease the facts from device support. John and his manager, Christine, as the factory reset was not possible, he admitted that it had been bricked by Amazon. Yes, they know all about this. I was told that my device would need to be replaced at my expense, and I was offered a 15% discount by John. I politely replied the price had risen by £10, so I was still going to pay £1 more than the original price. He stated this was all he was allowed to do. I again politely asked to have the call escalated. Christine came on the call and offered me a return of my three-year-old device and a gift card balance to cover a replacement because the problem originated from their system and was not the hardware or my fault. My replacement arrived today and it's all good again. My advice, call device support and exercise the three Ps, patience, persistence, and politeness. Get the replacement you deserve. That is good advice there. And if you are suffering from this problem, then Amazon are encouraging customers to contact them directly. You can do that by going to amazon.com forward slash contact hyphen us. Or if you're in the UK, go to amazon.co.uk forward slash contact hyphen us. Use their contact system and try to speak to somebody. And as this person said here is, first of all, be polite. Do not lose your rag with them. Be patient and be persistent. In the UK, under the Consumer Rights Act, if the device is less than one year old, then you are entitled to a repair or a replacement in any case. Certainly, if it's less than 28 days old, you are automatically entitled to a replacement. So if it's less than a year old and you're in the UK, then exercise your rights under the Consumer Rights Act and get it repaired free of charge or replaced free of charge from Amazon. But if it's older than that, then speak to somebody at Amazon to try and resolve the issue one way or another. And if you have had problems and you've had no success with talking to Amazon or you have had success, let us know in the comments down below. It would be good to hear from you. And please help support this channel. If you are looking to purchase a new Fire Stick or Fire Stick accessories or even subscribing to a VPN, there are links in the description down below. Using these links really does help support this channel. It enables me to dedicate more time to recording videos for you. And also, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? Have a look through my YouTube channel. I've got thousands of videos right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.